Welcome to your Daily Revolution podcast. Today's topic, why moving is so important. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. My, my name is Satya Mangali, the founder and creator of the Prosperity Revolution, a global movement that helps you to get out of scarcity and into prosperity every single day. A movement where people have value, things do not, where money is a result of helping people, where you're rewarded for creating value for others, and where prosperity is not the result of luck, but a a predictable steps and formulas, and and where happiness is, is the ultimate goal. Welcome to another edition of Your Daily Revolution. So grateful to be here. My name is Satya Mangali, the Reverend of the Revolution, the Revolution of Prosperity and Possibility and abundance. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Today's topic really means a lot to me. See, this week is our final full week here in Southern California. We've been preparing to make a move to Florida and it's not been easy. When I moved here to, to from Utah to California six years ago, it was such a jump. Uh, economically speaking, it was a massive jump to live where we live. It's like five times four to five xing the, the monthly output of, of cash. And yet I knew in my heart, like it was time to make a move. So what I've learned is every time we are led to make moves in our life, moves with our health and fitness, moves inside of our job or business, moves inside of our money, moves with our relationship, moves even with our, our purpose, our spirituality, like, God finds a way. Now, when I say the word God, all you got to think, if that's not your word, maybe it's power, higher power, source, universe, whatever your word is. For me, I've referred to him as God. And I knew six years ago we needed to make a move. So we made the movie. It was challenging. And yet the six, the last six years have been incredible. It has been the most amazing and like just awesome years of my life. I've grown, my family's grown, my wife has close friends. We love our family, we love our church family. When I say family, our neighbors, our community, the church we go to, uh, the members of our church, sports families, all the the, the teachers, everyone involved inside of our village because it truly does take a village to raise a child and I have three boys. So the last couple of weeks as I've driven out of my community, headed to the gym, going to pick up my boys, like I get emotional because this is the longest I've ever lived in a spot. For six years, we've been here. Isn't that crazy? I'm 45 years old. This is the longest I've ever lived in a home. The longest before that was three years. So I have moved around a lot in my life and I've never like really sunk roots deep as I have in this community. And so as we're getting ready to make a move, it's not been easy. I've been challenged and it's like, man, I can I do this. I don't want to do this. And yet, what do I know about the move we're making to Florida? Is that we're supposed to make the move? I have felt guided. I listened to the voice. I know it's the right move because I've taken action to make moves inside of Southern California, even on other homes in Florida. And yet the place we're going to, everything opened up. It's like when the voice tells you to do something, if you listen, you win. And then the way really gets opened up, things fall into place, things get prepared on your behalf. And so the real question I have for you is, you know, if you want to grow and take a look at the big four, physical, spiritual, relational, financial, if you really want to grow, if you really want to make an impact in the world, if you really want to live your purpose, if you want to really want to create life changing money, and make moves that can just lead you to live your greatest life. And you gotta be willing to listen and make moves. So let's just start at the top physically. Are there moves that you've got to make now that would really serve and help you? For some of you, it's losing weight. For some of you, it's gaining weight. For some of you, it's just working out, going for a walk, eating less sugar or carbs or whatever junk food is kind of your kryptonite. Spiritually, is there a move that you've got to make in that part of your world? Is it, does it involve more meditation, more getting grounded, having more space and being more present? Relationally, is there a move you need to make? And I say this, I I know there's people that I coach that have made a tough decision. They, they, They knew, right? Most people, they get married 
and then they try to work it out, and which they should. And they try and they try and they try and they try and they kind of just put up with a, a mediocre marriage and they just continue to put up with it until one day they finally wake up and say, this is not what I want. And now they got to have the courage to make a move. And I know a lot of people who have. They've got separated. They're, they're on their path of divorce, which congratulations is the best thing you could do. Are there, is there a move inside of your marriage? Is there a move with your children that you need to make? And of course, financially, what moves do you need to make today? This move for us, it sucks. And I say that, like it's just, it's kind of irritating. We move out of our home and do another home. We got to pack up things. We got to put things in storage. We got to send things. I mean, it's just, right, the normal part of making a move. And yet, what do I know that lies on the other side of all of this pain? It's power and possibility. I'm so grateful for this move that's coming up. I can't wait to get down to Florida, work with my business partner, my teams, and just awesome people that I learn from. So we can continue to live our purpose, our mission, which is to unleash human potential and turn that into maximum human performance so that these human beings, you, my friend, can live powerfully and create results that matter. So. Make the move you got to make today. I'm making my move. I'm about to step into the gym and make another move. And then here within a week, we will be out of Southern California, not forever, but hopefully just temporary. And I, I, my, my heart looks forward to a new adventure as I've been telling my boys that God has a plan for us down there. Like we've got a purpose. We've got a mission. We got to go find it. And if you're reading Christian scriptures, people always journey through a wilderness to get to a promised land. And we are on to another promised land where God is leading us to go. I'm excited for business. I'm excited for the, the new things we're going to build. My invitation for those of you listening to this, make the move. Trust in yourself. If you've been feeling that you got to do something, go do it. Make the move. Because as long as you keep your foot on first base, you'll never get to second and eventually third and home. And a lot of people, they want to stay stuck. They don't want to make a move. Make a move. Do it today, my friends. Have an awesome day. Until next time, I'm out. Let's go. This is your daily revolution. Living prosperity, we show you how to do it. There's no luck about it. We got the strategic blueprint. This is the your daily revolution. You already know. And if you don't, then check my resume. Turning pressure into possibilities every day. We all can win and live our unique purpose. Change our mindsets and put the work in. This is the your daily revolution. Daily revolution. Revol 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 revolution. Your daily revolution podcast.